Thomas puffed across the countryside. Even with his light on, Thomas knew he had to be very careful. Thomas found James broken down on the track. Hello, busted boiler, teases Thomas. You don't look very useful now. James was upset. But when Thomas got behind James, he couldn't see ahead. You will have to look out for me, said Thomas. James was cross. You said I wasn't useful, he pouted. But if the fireworks don't get to Knapford Station, puffed Thomas, the display will be cancelled. James didn't want the children to be sad, so he agreed to look out for Thomas, and they set off together. When the track was straight and clear, James called out, Go faster, Thomas! And Thomas did. They were soon working happily together and making good time. Sir Topham Hatt checked his watch. There was still no sign of Thomas or James. It's very late, he thought. It's almost a children's bedtime. Even Gordon was worried. I'll have to cancel the display, said Sir Topham Hatt. So the disappointed children started to board the coaches. At last, they could see the signal lights. The signal had turned red. Thomas and James stopped. Why would the signal be red? puzzled James. Maybe a passenger train is coming through, puffed Thomas. Gordon must be taking the children back, cried James. Thomas and James were very upset. We're here, they cried, and sounded their whistles as loudly as they could. But no one could hear them. The children were all on board. Gordon was ready to depart. Then Thomas had a bright idea. Send up a rocket, he told his driver. So his driver carefully lit a rocket. He stood well back as it whooshed into the sky. The rocket burst into stars. A sparkling dragon, cried Sir Topham Hatt. It must be Thomas and James. Stop, Gordon, he said. The firework display is back on. The junction signal turned to green, and Thomas and James were soon on their way. James and Thomas were soon at the station. The children cheered. Good work, Thomas, cried James happily. And good work, James, agreed Thomas. Good work, both of you, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. That night, Thomas and James watched the fireworks together. I think we are both useful engines, said James proudly. But we are most useful when we work together, puffed Thomas.